Following Bitcoin's surge past $42,000, the business intelligence firm MicroStrategy was sitting on more than a $2 billion profit on its substantial holdings of Bitcoin earlier on Monday. Under the direction of Michael Saylor, who is currently executive chairman, MicroStrategy started buying Bitcoin in August 2020. The company's most recent purchases took place last month and as of November 30th, MicroStrategy held 174,530 Bitcoin acquired for $5.28 billion or an average price of $30,252 each. As of early on Monday, when Bitcoin was trading at $42,000, MSTR's assets were worth almost $7.3 billion or more than a $2 billion profit. Before the collapse of the Terra ecosystem in April 2022, Bitcoin had not reached such a high level. When Bitcoin dropped to less than $16,000 at its lowest point in the 2022 bear market, MicroStrategy's wager was severely losing money. Nonetheless, Saylor persisted in increasing the company's assets, financing acquisitions with the combination of debt and stock issues. MicroStrategy shares were trading around 6% higher on Monday. Ahead of the April 2024 Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin miner Riot Platforms is purchasing 66,560 Bitcoin mining rigs from manufacturer MicroBT in one of the highest hash rate purchases in the company's history. The additional purchase agreement totaled to $290.5 million. Riot stated in a December 4th statement, meaning it paid an average of $4,360 for each machine. When Riot first committed to buy 33,280 computers from MicroBT in June, the agreement also contained a right to purchase option. Now that the two companies have revised this contract, Riot has the option to buy up to 265,000 more miners from MicroBT under the same conditions as the earlier deal. Riot Platforms earlier mentioned at the upcoming Bitcoin halving event scheduled for April 2024 as one of the key reasons behind its latest purchasing spree. Riot's share tickered Riot rose nearly 9% on December 4th. It is now up over 345% so far in 2023. DGFT, the Singapore-based digital asset exchange, has received regulatory approval from Monetary Authority of Singapore to operate collective investment schemes as well as an organized market or secondary market trading, according to Henry Zhang, founder and CEO. The exchange was granted the Central Bank's Capital Market Services license on Tuesday and a recognized market operator license on December 1st, Zhang said in an interview. Singapore has been searching the ways of achieving right balance between regulation and innovation in crypto. The GFT's recognition from MAS comes after an 18-month process that saw it go through the central bank's fintech regulatory sandbox. The GFT is the first exchange with an automatic market-making mechanism to have been admitted into the MAS fintech regulatory sandbox, said Zhang. AMM is the underlying protocol that powers all decentralized exchanges, eliminating the need for centralized exchanges. Built on the Ethereum blockchain, DGFT's platform will offer secondary trading liquidity for security tokens backed by real-world assets such as bonds and equities, meaning investors can subscribe, trade and redeem on-chain assets using fiat currency or stablecoin. That's all for today. For more such updates, watch 3.tv or log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. Thank you.